Hello everyone. So the units have just dropped and they are looking real synergistic with the rest of the gang. So remember from all of this, right, that Ahab is still not out. So Ahab will probably be something to, to do with a uh, poise. And these units here definitely need poise to become very, very useful or even significant. Otherwise, they really don't do much by themselves. Um, the poise for Heathcliff is different than this Isang because Isang actually needs the poise, but for Heathcliff, it's more of a damage boost rather than uh, something super essential for his kit. So uh, let's talk about Isang first. The main reason I talk about Isang is because this skill 2 here, I remember I, uh, someone joked about having infinite reusable coins, but actually having three times reusable on this coin here is actually really, really strong anyway. Because if you reuse this coin three times max, then you're getting five coins in total. And you'll be inflicting bleed on every single one of those coins and your passive here gives you on crit inflict two more bleed potency with a skill. Which means that you apply three every time with this coin here. So that means it's 3, 6, 9, 12. 12 bleed potency in total. And in addition to all of that, you also gain poise count here and you gain a little bit of poise here as well. This is nice because with this poise count addition, as well as this poise count addition and hopefully some poise count from Ahab in the future, you will be able to actually maintain whatever crit that you have consumed from reusing this coin a bunch. Otherwise, um, if they don't have that, then basically this skill here will be your big move. It's basically your skill tree. You want to accumulate as much poise as possible and then come to this skill here to dump all of your poise onto this move here. Why? Because you want to get that reuse coin as much as possible. Your skill tree, uh, also pretty solid. You need to gain two poise before you use this skill. Why? Because you gain five points here and you need seven plus points beforehand to get the coin power plus one ability here, which is seven, 14, 14 plus four is 18, 18 in total. And preferably you will crit on the second coin as well, very similar to Twin Hooks. Twin Hooks also need to crit on the second coin and you will be able to get the on crit inflict six bleed count. Bleed count is very, very important in this game in, uh, in recent uh, fights because the enemies usually have one million coins and whatnot. So they will consume a crap ton of bleed count. So any source of big ass bleed counts like this is going to be very, very important. Uh, bleed count sources right now, I think, are what? Masalt, as well as um, uh, Ryoshu. Uh, what's the name? KK Ryoshu? I think it's KK Ryoshu. Yeah, it's KK Ryoshu. Right. So those are going to be the three bleed sources in addition to this Yisang now, most likely. Um, besides, I can't really think of any other big source characters, but yeah, bleed count characters are going to be very, very important. So Yisang will be one of them. Skill 2 here applies a bunch of bleed potency, so you got yourself a very nice character that applies a crap ton of bleed as well as bleed potency. And remember, if he crits on this one as well, he also applies two more, which means it's going to be six bleed plus six bleed count, which is really nice. Uh, if you crit on this coin here, you also apply uh, four bleed, which is okay, I guess. This skill 1, right, is mainly used to get two points count on yourself first so that whenever you use your skill 2 or skill 3, you'll be able to get a little bit more poise count to help maintain that and that, that starting 2 poise count will help to jumpstart this and let you keep whatever poise that you have gained from using this skill or this skill. The order most likely will be something like skill 1, skill 3 and then skill 2. Why? Because skill 3 gives you a bunch of poise as well as a bit of poise count to maintain your poise level so that your skill 2, you'll be able to crit a lot more. Right. So. Basically, you need to crit on your skill 2s and this character applies a bunch of bleed. So basically designed to be a bleed support for the entire gang and needs to crit to be a very good bleed potency applier for the entire Picot gang. So pretty good design. And if you don't want to use him, you can always put him on the bench. I forgot to talk about that. For So support passive, you can actually just slap him on the bench. And then one ally with the most poise inflicts two additional bleed potency with a skill. So basically you are buffing whoever has a billion coins, which is probably going to be Ahab. And Ahab will be able to crit a lot and then inflict that to additional bleed potency. Hopefully, okay? I have big hopes for Ahab to fix all of this stuff right now. Right now, if we look at them in a vacuum like this, it's not going to be very interesting. So for Heathcliff here, we got Stock Prey. Stock Prey is the only source of poise count that you will get. So this will be the main move you need before you use any of your other skills. Because you need to be able to keep that poise for your future moves here. So very, very important skill. You also gain aggro to this skill next turn and you inflict two bleed. Skill 2, Snack Harpoon, 4, 8, 12, 16, 16 on your skill 2, not bad. Gain plus 5 aggro to this skill next turn. And then you also gain 1 points for every 3 bleed on the target. So you need 30 bleed potency in order to get 10 points. And then, besides that, if you can crit on the second coin specifically, 
you inflict bleed count equal to one third of the bleed potency. So this is um, this text wasn't actually here in the patch uh, notes. It was actually equal to bleed potency. So they added this one third number here because honestly, it's ridiculous. Imagine you got 100, you can apply 100 uh, bleed count. But of course, we get capped at 99, so it's going to be 99. But now there's one third, it's less stupid because if you can get 99 bleed potency, you can only apply 30 bleed count, which is still ridiculous, of course, but uh, it's not going to be as explosive as a equals two, you know, equals two is just too strong, which is why I knew that this was going to be coming. So thankfully, this is fine. And also, and also like they made it max of 10, so you can't even go like ridiculous numbers. Right. So understandably, they added all these limiters here because uh, yeah, it's not balanced if you don't add these limiters here. It's going to be crazy amounts of stupidity. And if you don't have this cap here, don't have this cap here, then it's going to be too much, man. It's too much. So since we need max of 10, right? Uh, we can only apply a max of 10. That means we need to get um, about, what, 30? Is it correct? You need 30 bleed potency on the target as well so that you can inflict 10 bleed count with this. So 30 would be the optimal number for this character here. Even the poise part here is also about 30. So you need to get 30 bleed potency, which as you apply 10 bleed count, and then you need 30 bleed to get 10 poise. So you're going to have to start to get stacking for that bleed. And hopefully Ahab and Pip will help to shore up that bleed that we might be missing right now. All right. Then skill 3, 7 not. 7 not. we just add the coin power because you will only use this move if there is Envy Resonance or Envy A Resonance. Uh, this part here will be probably if you want to just finish off a weak target and this part here will probably be if you are saving up all of your Envies for your big Envy turns every now and then. For, with, for example, the middle gang or maybe uh, all of your other good Envy moves like Quick Suppression. Sorry, not Quick Suppression, Force of Habit. Like Rip Space or Data or something like that. Who really knows? But basically, you will get 2 coin power, which makes this 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 24. 24, not bad. That's 4 more than uh, Dawn, I think. Yeah, uh, Dawn, if she targets a Vengeance Mark target, she gets 20 uh, middle Dawn. And then for this one here, you'll be able to get 24. Not too bad. And you also inflict bleed on your first coin, your second coin. And if you are low HP, you get more bleed. This is important because you actually want to be low HP with this character. And then on IV here, on your crit, you do 50% damage on crit hit. This one, uh, hopefully Ahab lets you do something about this. Otherwise, it's going to be very wonky. Because on the fourth coin, feels kind of ass. Right. So, talked about all of this. Let's talk about the defense as well. This one is strong because you get 1 to 1 with your poise. Which means that if you use heal 2 here, and you are able to keep that because of your skill 1, giving you that 4 poise count, then you get 10 poise, then you'll be able to get 10 defense level up for every 10 poise on yourself. So that means that, sorry, not that, 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 that sounds dumb. It's uh, basically you gain 1 defense level up for every 1 poise, so you get 10 if you get 10 poise. So basically this part here, you will be able to get 3 protection roughly from that, which is not bad. And if you look at the passive, you actually gain more defense level up if another unit, including this unit, is also attacked. And you can gain 2 each time instead if the ally is from the V quad. So you can get a total of 9 here, so that means you'll be able to get another 3 protection. So that is a total of 6 protection, making this character very very tanky if you're able to stack up all of this defense level up onto yourself. So very very strong looking tank. And then you also gain aggro on this move here, and you do quite a sizable amount of damage. You do 4, 8, 8 plus 5, 13 damage in total. Not bad, not bad at all. The passive is really really powerful. This part here is dope because you do 1% more for every 1% missing HP. And if I'm not wrong, right, it means that if you drop to 50%, you do 50% more damage. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Which is uh crazy. Uh, it's 1% more for every 1% missing HP. Like, uh, I think your skill tree is going to do some ridiculous damage when you get to low HP. And your whole kit makes it so that you want to be low HP and you have a crap down protection and you will deal some crazy amount of damage. So... I'm wondering how the math works for this, but I feel like low HP Heathcliff is going to go absolutely crazy. Need to get some specifics on the math here, or maybe I'm wrong, or maybe there's some word error, who really knows? But if this is one to one, right, then shit, man. Uh, this could be quite a, quite a lot of damage, man. So basically, the goal of this Heathcliff, get to low HP, try to get to below 50%, because below 50%, you get a tree bleed every time you use your first or second coin here. And this entire move here, with that coin power burst, will be able to do quite a lot of damage with that 4 coin. Or you do a lot of damage here with that 3 coin. Uh, this one, whatever. It's just for maintaining that poise count. But yeah, uh, very, very interesting. This part here. 
Um, most likely, we'll need to get a Heathcliff healing ego for himself, or we'll need to run like Pursuance or something with this character, giving him more protection and stuff. Uh, who, yeah, this is a uh, this is gonna be a real interesting playstyle, and definitely a welcome addition really to the Pequot Gang because Pequot Gang doesn't really have a tanker right now, so this is mainly going to be the tank for Pequot, and can also be a good aggro generator for the middle gang because if I remember correctly, right. Dawn doesn't really generate aggro on herself either, which means that Pequot, uh, Heathcliff, can tank for Middle Dawn. Uh, even though Middle Dawn will want to uh, counter attacks specifically to trigger her skill tree, this does not really matter because she wants to target the one with Vengeance Mark, right? So she will intercept the move from the boss, maybe a weak move, while Pequot, Heathcliff will go and draw aggro from all the other moves so that Middle Dawn will be able to counter the one that actually matters, the one that does the least damage to her, and the one where she can target the Avengers Mark target. So I really like the design so far. Definitely a very, very cool tank design. Be able to get a bunch of protection for yourself, do a lot of damage the low HP you are, and will be a very, very good support for the Pequot gang because the Pequot characters getting attacked gives her additional two stacks on that thing, letting her get more protection up. So really, really, really cool character. I also noticed a trend here in that a lot of these characters, the Twin Hook Pirates and the Pequot First Mate, they like to crit on their second coin specifically. All of their designs, right, is to crit on the second coin. Um, for LCCB manager, I'm not sure. It, it, she doesn't really care too much. She can crit on either coin, really. But for these two, I noticed it's been on the second coin. So maybe something's going to happen with that second coin or something. I, I, I don't know. The second coin is looking funky for these two here. But yeah, I really like Pequot Harpooner. I think the design is very, very nice. Um, I think uh, the role between Pequot and Rabbit is very, very different. So actually, you might consider running this guy if you need a tank Heathcliff. Because tank, this character actually tanks really, really well and actually functions without a, without a whole team. Um, but you do need to get quite a bit of envy still. So this is the only one that you will need to get at least four envy. But if you just want him as a tank, he actually performs pretty well as just a tank. He has very good synergy with like the... Um, with uh, the Pequot gang and whatnot, but because he does more damage when he's low HP, right? I think he still does pretty well as just uh, your main tank or something like that. Because he, as long as you have like other uh, three characters, right? With some envy on them, maybe a good envy skill on them. And there are quite a lot of options for those. You can get it from uh, even like what LCB uh, uh, Faust, for example, as a two-star option. If you are, if you don't have like any other higher level characters, then you can always just uh, wait for a big turn and then just go and pop it so that you can all pop all your envy skills at the same time. So yeah, really, really cool character. Uh, can be a tank by himself, if I remember correctly. Uh, sorry, if I uh, assume correctly. And also, very, very good synergy with the Pequot gang overall. Yeah, So really, really cool character. Would you pull? The answer is still no, because Walpurgis Night will be coming out in January, February, March. And if you're F2Ping your way through, you probably don't want to be um, spending this lunacy except on the Walpurgis gang. So uh, besides that, right? These units definitely want to pick them up because I want to try running that Poise Bleed when Ahab drops. And if Ahab is going to be very, very powerful for this team, giving them a lot of extra poise count or something like that, then wow, that's going to be real, real good synergy. Right, so I think that is my current theories and my opinions on these characters. Uh, you can feel free to let me know if I misread something or I miscalculated something or you already did the math for me, then feel free to just post it in the comment section because, hey, I love free math. Uh, yeah, so that is going to be it for this video. Uh, these characters here, very, very, very strong tank, very good uh, poise stuff, as well as a uh, very good uh, synergy with any of the bleed characters. Uh, the Pequot character here needs poise in order to actually help to support the team by applying a bunch of bleed. Otherwise, it's better to just slap him on the bench and try to get more poise onto another character so that they will be able to crit and then apply additional bleed potency with their moves. So yeah, that's my opinions on these two characters as a summary. Okay, so that will be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Leave your comments and I shall read them later. I will see you guys when Ahab drops. Probably going to drop next, I think. Hopefully. Right? Okay, anyway. Goodbye everyone. Thank you for watching.